Hey guys, um, what's up? Um, so today I am doing, um, another Radiohead album ranking. Uh, not an album ranking, sorry. Ranking an album. Uh, different from an album ranking, but ranking an album. Y you know what I mean. Today I'm ranking, uh, the other one that's, like, I haven't done yet besides Kid A that is in, like, my top ones. Um, and I guess Hail to the Thief too, but... There are a lot of songs in that. I'll I'll get to that later. But basically, um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rank every single song off of Radiohead's 2016 record, A Moon Shaped Pool, um, which is my third favorite uh, Radiohead album. Um, I'm going slightly back on that, but just slightly because it is um amazing, basically. And today I'm gonna prove that by ranking every song, which will be very hard to do. But I'm gonna try my best. I have my trusty little note right here, and uh, yeah, just gonna do what I can to rank these for you guys. Um, so uh, starting off at number eleven, um, Tinker Tailor Soldier Sailor Rich Man Poor Man Beggar Man Thief. I don't know how I memorized that all. It all my paper it just says Tinker Tailor. Um, and yeah, uh, it's uh, first of all, the name is super long. I don't know how I just remember that, but yeah. What, whatever, besides the name, um, very, it's still a good song, I mean, uh, despite being my last, um, there are really no bad songs on this album, so let me just say what I want about this song, um, very good, um, I like it, um, and at first, it is pretty boring, and not super melodic, not super memorable, but then I love at the end how it rips into this, like, this, sad display of what is it like violin um i freaking love that part and every time i just go like that i have to jam out to it not really jam i just kind of cry out to it okay i don't actually cry but like still it's a very good song um sad but yeah um next the numbers um the numbers uh yeah um this is the ultimate well not the ultimate what am i saying this is one of the saddest songs on this album for me at least I just, I just think it's really sad, man. Uh, it sounds super melodic, um, super, it, it sounds nice, but I will say this, and this is not meant to be mean or anything, because it's, it's, a, it's, it's pretty much a compliment, but, um, yeah, the main part of it sounds like Reckoner didn't reach its full potential, the, like that, like, it didn't reach its full potential, which sounds mean, but, like, Reckoner is a great song, I mean. It's not meant to be mean at all. Um, still very melodic, still sad. And, yeah, I like this. I like this song a lot. Um, and number nine, Desert Island Disc. Um, and Desert Island Disc, um, it sounds... It, it, it sounds happy at the beginning with that friendly guitar riff. With that. I really like it. Uh, it's not really a... A riff, it's just a little ditty. Um, and, um, God, I, I like it. I really like it. What can I say? Um, I'm a sucker for that acoustic guitar and those sad lyrics by Thomas Edward York himself. I don't know why I said his full name. That's a bit awkward. But not much to say about Desert Island Disc. The lyrics are very sad, uh, despite how it sounds at the beginning. And, uh, yeah, number nine, Desert Island Disc. And number eight, um, Burn the Witch. Um, it's a great opener to a Radiohead album, and it's probably the happiest off this whole entire project, which is sick. Um, Burn the Witch, yeah, I I really like it. I mean, it's it's happier, and it's like I love that. Boom, 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 boom. It's great. Um, and uh, what I've noticed is that every single Radiohead opener, at least most of them, are some of the happiest if not the happiest, off the whole album. Pablo Honey with You, Happy, um, what else, uh, friggin', um, The Benz with Planet Telex. Um, it says that it's the, like, the third saddest song off that album. No, it's really not. It's not that sad at all. Um, uh, it's very happy. Um, at least I think. Um, OK Computer, Airbag is the happiest off that whole album. Um, next, Kid A. Um, I'm pretty sure Everything in Its Right Place is one of the happier songs, even though I find it like a futuristic, sort of alien kind of song, in a good way, obviously, in a very good way. 
um and i love it but and then the next one um amnesiac uh packed is the happiest off that whole album packed like sardines in a crushed tin can box um a crushing can i don't know why i said box um next uh hail to the thief with a freaking um what's it called uh okay okay i need to really hurry up but um uh with uh why can i think of the name two and two equals five um not actually the happiest of that i'm not really that close either so um my whole entire theory goes off the rails with that one but then in rainbows with 15 step 15 step being the happiest radiohead song in my opinion uh then the king of limbs with bloom which is pretty happy considering the king of limbs and then um uh yeah you know uh, moonshade pool with uh burn the witch which is happiest uh next uh deck stark i need to talk about this quick um nice futuristic song i love how it, it starts and everything um deck stark uh yeah really good song um not much to say about it oh, man i really love it and it's overall the fan favorite of the whole album which I could definitely see why that is. Um, it's not my favorite, but yeah, it's very good. Next is Glass Eyes. I love the freaking, what's it called? The piano. It's like slightly distorted. I love that. It's a quieter, more moody track on the whole album. And ugh, just, despite being the shortest, I freaking love Glass Eyes so much. Every single time I just settle down for a second, I slow down. That's not one of the lyrics. That's from The Tourist, but yeah. Um, Number five identicate um i love this song um i forget it each time but every time that i listen to it i rem memorize it more and more and i love it more and more and freaking hell i love identicate um not much to say about it uh man love everything about it the guitar the, the real shiner this is where we start to get really good uh daydreaming and daydreaming one of the saddest radiohead songs in my opinion um just a song about grief and like, um, especially in the music video, you have to go see the music video. I mean, I cried to the song, man. It's great. I love it. And I love how at the end it becomes like distorted voices and then it just fades out. Not fades out, what's it called? Like just stops abruptly in a very echoey space, sort of, uh, whatever you call it. Um, but next, present tense. Oh my God, I love present tense. I love the guitars on this. Um, God, I love this song. What can I say? Uh, present tense never failed me. Whenever I first listened to it, I didn't care for it. But then I realized what I was listening to. And I was like, hell yeah. Um, number two, full stop. Um, I, I, I know it's full stop, but I say full because it only has one L for some reason. But yeah, full stop. Um, great song. Um, and I love the lyrics. And I love how it like transitions into the song with the drum going. And the lyrics are super pessimistic. And every single time I take a test that I haven't studied for, I play the song. Because Tom is just letting me know, like, you really messed up everything. Um, and it's true. I didn't mess up everything on that test. Um, and Full Stop is just a great song. Just so powerful and how it continues. It just, it doesn't stop. It's unrelentless. And yeah, it's, it's great. But my number one in, in my top three favorite Radiohead songs of all time true love waits oh my god true love waits is amazing um i just wet myself um true love waits oh my god i love it um it's in my opinion one of if not the saddest song i've ever heard in my whole life um if you don't know the backstory to it basically thomas edward york um or tom york why do i keep saying his full name it's awkward if he's watching that video, this video, he's probably just like, what the hell is this kid doing? Um, but yeah, um, uh, Tom York wrote this song for his girlfriend at the time, which was, what was, what was her name? Oh God, it was something, Owen, I'm so sorry. It was, uh, Emily, Emma, Emma Owens or something. Um, and yeah, uh, he wrote the song for her and the lyrics are super like pessimistic and stuff. God, it's great. And then he officially released a song. After, what, five, um, 20, no, wait, let me do the math real quick. I'm not very good at math. It wasn't my strongest subject. 21 years of not releasing it. He originally played this song live in 1995, uh, put it, uh, finally put it on, I might be wrong, the live recordings, um, as the closer. 
And then after so long, after like how many years of waiting, like um, 14 uh, years of waiting, he finally added it on the album. And hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. It is, um, God, it's so sad. God, it's so sad. I cried to this the first few times I listened to it. And, um, I don't regret that. It's very good. Um, and just really sad and underrated by fans. I gotta say, very underrated by fans. They usually put this out, like, in the middle or the end of A Moon Shaped Fool, but I feel like it's one of the best, if not the best, when I think it's the best. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's my whole uh, Moonshade Pro album ranking. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Uh, love you guys so much. If you watch my videos, I immediately love you. Unless you're like a Nazi or whatever. But uh, yeah, bye.